Hi, thanks for watching. So today I'm going to be talking about everybody's favorite technology topic, security. Uh, I'm going to be walking through why, if you have not already, to evaluate and take a look at a Cisco security EA. I think that it's important to take a step back and talk a little bit about the security environment in general. To do that, I'm going to use an analogy about an airport. I'm calling it the Cisco EA airport where we love security. And I am going to walk you through that first. Then I'm going to ask you a few questions that might help you consider a a more comprehensive or holistic security strategy. And I think that a Cisco security EA can do that. And here's why. So I want you to think about what your experience is like when you are going to the airport and you're going to fly somewhere. When you're still at home, you're going to have to go to the website or you're going to have to call and you're going to have to provide information to identify who you are in order to obtain a boarding pass. You get a boarding pass, you show up at the airport, there are instructions on how you show up at the airport and what you can bring and what you cannot. If you fail at any of those things, then you should be denied entry into the airport. So once you get there, you're gonna to have to go to ticketing to get your boarding pass. Then you go to security where they check your ID. You go into the luggage security portion of the uh, security gate. They're gonna x-ray your stuff. If you're okay, they might pat you down. They're gonna check your person. You're gonna go through an x-ray yourself. Once you're through, then you're gonna have access to whichever gate you've been given access to. Um, and then in order to get on the plane, you're going to have to show your boarding pass again. Once you're on the plane, there might be a U.S. Marshal on that plane to catch anyone who's gotten through. And then you're going to have customs on the other side, it, especially if you went through customs initially to go through. So think about if at any point any of the airport security employees are having a bad day, they walk away, they miss something then a bad actor has the opportunity to get through. If any part of the machinery that does the x-raying fails, the bad actors have an opportunity to get through. And the bad actors are smart. They know what to expect when they go to the airport. So they are constantly trying to outsmart the security team at the airport. So that is what security leaders are tasked with on top of all of their day-to-day -day functions to keep the business running. It's very complex. It's very challenging. And again, if any one player does not do their job appropriately, then the bad actors get in. Check out the side of this board. These are just some of the security solutions that are in most business environments today. That is a lot of products on top of the normal day-to-day -day infrastructure and operations that IT leaders are tasked with. So with that, I have a few questions for you just to think about as we kind of walk through this conversation. How many security vendors do you have in your environment? My guess is that it's higher than 15. How many of those tools are being used to their full potential? My guess is not all of them, and probably most of them are not being used to their full potential. How much is it costing you to administer these tools and run them as advertised? If you had an issue, do you know who to call or what tool to use? So with that in mind, would it be helpful for you and your team to have a more solid theme around your security strategy? Would it be helpful to know that your tools are running to their full capability and they're backed and supported by innovation and intelligence? Would it be productive to spend less time on security tools and point products and more time on insights, data, and proactivity? I think for most of us, the answer to that question is yes, those would be helpful. Those changes would be helpful. So that's exactly why I would encourage you to evaluate a vendor or a partner that has a holistic or comprehensive security strategy. In my opinion, in my experience, Cisco has a wonderful theme of holistic view of security. I'll go into that in just a second. I'm going to outline kind of the, the beauty behind a Cisco EA. As you know, I pre-whiteboard everything so I don't spend my time with my back to you because you can't hear me and it's no fun to watch people writing on a board. So I will post pictures of this board in the comments section after I post the video. So 
all of the blue writing are the point products that I discussed on the other side of the board. Um, and with that, sec uh, Cisco Security EA has an answer to each of those products. And I'm going to talk about the value at the end. So just hang in there with me. This is a little bit more technical for those of you who are not in the technology space. So traffic analysis, auto blocking is covered by StealthWatch. Behavior analysis is covered by AMP, malware, AV, gray, gray mail, phishing, all covered by secure email, IPS encrypted traffic, file inspection, and content filtering is all covered by secure firewall. DNS resolution is covered by Umbrella. Umbrella is super cool. It reduces the workload on your firewalls and it will help either pass um, a request to the internet through, or it will drop the connection and it acts as a DNS server, essentially. Web proxy is covered by secure web app and application monitoring is covered by um, secure workforce titration along with baselining and anomaly alerting. Multi-factor authentication and device hygiene is covered by Duo. Uh, device hygiene is really cool because if, say for example, my iPhone is running an old version that is buggy or vulnerable, then it will not allow me on the network. It will make me do the update before it will allow me on the, on the network. So it's really cool to prevent bad actors from getting in through things like that. Net, network access control is covered by ICE. VPN is covered by AnyConnect. Internet of Things security, which is a big hot topic, especially in the manufacturing space, is covered by CyberVision. And then um, all of this can actually be monitored from a single pane of glass. This is where a tremendous amount of value comes in from a Cisco EA perspective. SecureX is essentially an aggregation tool that allows you to manage all of these products from a single pane of glass. Throw on top of that security intelligence, with Talos, Talos aggregates about 125 billion events a day coming from each of the assets and then creates a list of bad actors and then lets all of the assets know about those bad actors ahead of time. Um, pair those two together, it is an unmatched security platform and that is exactly why you would want to evaluate a security EA with your trusted partner. If you already own three of any of these products, then you would likely qualify for a Cisco EA. And the cost savings can be astronomical, not to mention the soft costs in administering and keeping these tools up to date and having them work at the way that they are advertised to work. So with that, I hope I will wrap up and let you know that I hope that this was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please drop a comment in the video comments or share or check out my YouTube channel in techno with Lissa. I hope that this is helpful and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.